Hi there. If you were to ask me if Gartner is a technology advisor, I would say a resounding no. Uh, I am David Gillis. I am a technology advisor with Enterprise Visions, and here's why. Anytime companies have to pay to play, that advisor kind of falls in the bucket of consultant rather than advisor. And to me, the difference is objectivity. Um, let me give you an example. I was with a company, had a glowing product in one area. The other products, in my opinion, from supporting them and selling them were not so great. But the report by Gartner was kind of glowing on the top end and overall very positive for everything. And, and they weaved a PC web of words around the products that were so great that made the user, the subscriber that pays them a lot of money, figure out for themselves it was a good product or not. That is not a good model for you to follow as far as making good IT decisions. You executives in the boardroom uh, want your IT groups to save you money. If you're giving such credibility to Gartner and any decision they bring that has Gartner backing is okay with you, then you're, then you're missing the hidden gems out there that are a much better fit for your company and will save you a lot of money. Um, I have one company that, you know, they were being cut off uh, from their hardware vendor because of lack of payment. And they went out and bought a $100,000 Gartner subscription because they needed that to back their IT decisions. That's just wrong. That sub subscription is, is expensive. And to quite frankly, um, companies that can afford that are usually more expensive. I just had a, a meeting with an executive, he needed Gartner behind him to make this big decision, um, that needed to mitigate his risk, was talking to all these big high-level consultants with all these big products. The problem is high-level consultants love big products because they know it's going to be a never-ending revenue stream from them. They're never going to leave your environment because you need them to constantly get in there, tweak and, and fix things that constantly go wrong. I was able to, to show this one executive a better way of doing this, in my opinion, we'll see if he agrees, um, that cost them a lot less money, is much more uh, uh, agile, and a much newer technology that will save them a lot of money and do a better job, in my opinion. So the, the, the takeaway message here is, is the boardroom needs to stop giving so much credibility to Gartner, let their IT executives make decisions and not be so timid as far as what they present to the board without having a big Gartner or big company name behind them. Um, my emails in this uh, uh, post, happy to talk about anything technology, but this was on my mind most recently. I hear it all the time and I think it's a shame. So uh, I'd love to hear from you. Take care.